Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of our discussion in portfolio assessment. This time, let's talk about the purposes of the different types of portfolio. Uh, on the previous uh, discussion, I will just link it here. We have uh, known already that there are three major types of portfolio and here in this session, we are going to dig deeper on the three types of portfolio and what are their purposes and what and what could be are the different samples of students' work to be placed in that certain portfolio. Or Molier, uh, cited by Gabuyo 2017, suggested different purposes of uh, each type of portfolios and some samples of students' uh, product or work needed to be accomplished. Okay, let's have the first type of portfolio, the working portfolio. Working portfolio is this is also known as uh, the teacher student portfolio. Uh, this is the everyday uh, portfolio, everyday work. Okay, so the first purpose of this portfolio is to, of course, the first one to show growth or change over time. And what are the different samples of students' um, accomplishment? It could previews and recent pieces of work in any subject area because as what I have said, we can incorporate portfolio assessment um, in any of the subject area. And then second, previous and recent tests or scores in any subject area, rough draft and final draft in any subjects or it could be uh, part in particular for, for essays in Filipino or in uh, English subjects. Next, of course, reflection on students' growth about a certain topic. Okay. Uh, next, the goal setting sheets. Of course, this will be provided by the teacher. And then reflection on the progress towards the goals. Uh, we have to really, uh, uh, the first part, the first, um, the initial uh, thing that we have to do before having this one, of course, we have to start with our objective or goal so that we will know on, um, which path or how or where are we heading, all right? The second purpose is to identify the strengths and weaknesses of the learners. Okay, the sample of students' work to be placed, for example, uh, samples of work reflecting specifically identified strengths and weaknesses, or it could be the reflection on the student's um, weakness and then the strengths. For example, you have the sample and then you will ask the students to reflect on the strength and then the weaknesses of that particular sample. And then the goal setting sheets and reflection on progress uh, toward goals. Okay, as you, as you can see, there are a lot of reflection in here because portfolio assessment really uh, encourages self-assessment or having the self-reflection. Third purpose is to track the development of one or more product or performance. Okay, so what I have said, working portfolio, this is uh, the portfolio starting until the end. All the things that you are doing in the classroom will be placed in here. That's why uh, you can, uh, in, in that sense, you can track the development of your learners. Okay, what are the samples of students' um, work to be placed? It could be the draft of the specific product or performance to be tracked and self-reflection on the draft and reflection sheets from the teacher or for uh, the peer. So you have the student's reflection, uh, you have the uh, reflection or the peer rating, and then you have the teacher's rating as well. And the last purpose of working portfolio, to help develop process the skills. Okay, what are the samples? Samples which reflect growth of process skills, self-reflection sheets accompanying samples of work, reflection sheets from the teacher or the peer, identification of strength and weaknesses. Uh, the student can identify his or her weakness or strength and then it will be strengthened, of course, by um, the peer assessment. Of course, you have uh, to ask your peer, what can you say about me? What can you say about the work? So that it will be correlated that uh, we should be consistent enough um, in having our uh, reflection or the commentary and suggestions coming from your peers. And then goal setting sheets and reflection and progress towards goal. Okay, that's all for uh, the purposes of working portfolio. Now let's proceed to the purposes of the showcase portfolio. Okay, we have learned previously that this kind of portfolio, the showcase portfolio, uh, focuses on the student's best and most representative 
work okay it exhibits the best performance of the student so the first purpose of the showcase portfolio is of course to showcase end of year or semester accomplishments so samples of best work samples of previous and recent work to document progress it uh, could be the final tests and scores a discussion of growth over a semester and year in awards or recognition for example you or listers so you have to include that in that a particular showcase portfolio or you got that grade of 1.0 in a certain subject so you have to include that one and teacher or peer comments second purpose to showcase student perception on favorite best or most important work the hit could be the samples of students favorite best or most important work and the draft of the work to illustrate the path taken before its final form so this is to document the process Commentary on the strengths and weaknesses of the work. It could be the comments from the peers, comments from the teacher, or your personal comment and reflection on why, again, it is favorite, best, or the most important work. Reflection on what has been learned from the work. Of course, you have to include as well the teacher or the peer comments. And anyway, this one, the peer comments, and the, the, uh, we, we can uh, devise a format or uh, a form for this one where the teacher can uh, really evaluate of course when you have in this portfolio rubric is also included in grading your portfolio so there the teacher or your peer can write his or her uh, comment suggestions about the work next purpose to represent a sample of uh, current work if the student think that this is the best work among all so uh, that could be samples match of work with standards um, accomplished self-reflection and current aptitudes teachers reflection on the students aptitude and of course identification of the future goals the last uh, purpose for a showcase portfolio to prepare a sample of best work for employment or college admission uh, you have not tried this one for a college but maybe you can try this one when you apply for a teaching profession uh, in the public school when you uh, when you plan when you are planning to um, work in uh, the, uh, in the department of education so there are cases that the student uh, that the school would ask you a sample of your uh, portfolio that could be the showcase portfolio all right so here what are the things that you have to place in that particular portfolio got the cover letter of course the application and then sample of best works a uh, sample of the, your best works Reflection in the process of creating the sample of work, uh, reflection on your growth, teacher and peer comments, of course, you have to include it, and the description of knowledge, skills, work indicates the best uh, accomplishments. Now, you can have this one, for example, if um, the policy would be um, approved, maybe, when you have your practice teaching, there are cases that um, you will need to have your portfolio. All right. Now let's have the purposes of the progress portfolio. As, as we all know that the progress portfolio is also known as the teacher alternative assessment portfolio. So it uh, contains examples of work with the same types done over a period of time and then uh, this will be utilized to uh, assess the students uh, progress in learning. So the first, um, the first purpose is to document the achievement for grading purposes so what are the things that um, must be included sample of representative work in each of the subject unit topic to be graded samples of work documenting level of achievement in the course grade level goals and standards or objectives it could be the test and then the scores uh, it could be the rubric or the rubric the criteria or the tool Use for evaluation of work when uh, it is applied, of course. Uh, how can you, uh, again, as what I have said earlier, that when you um, ask your students to have this portfolio, there must be a corresponding rubric to grade that certain portfolio. Next, self reflection on how well samples indicate attainment of goal. Gr self reflection on how well samples indicate attainment of course. Grade level, goal standards and objectives, teacher's reflection and attainment of the goals and objectives, and of course, identification of the strength and weaknesses in that particular sample. Next purpose is to place students appropriately. Samples of students' accomplishment, it could be the representative samples of the recent work, 
representative samples of the previous work to indicate the rate of progress uh, and here they can say that uh, you are really progressing or not or you are not progressing classroom test and scores external test or evaluation if ever you have taken some examinations outside uh, the classroom or the school and then a match of work with standards accomplished self-reflection and the current aptitudes teachers reflection and the students aptitude parents reflection on the students aptitude now the parents um, reflection is included we have to go we have to remember that the parents participation in education is really uh, highlighted or recommended because teachers and parents should uh, go hand in hand in educating the learners that's why we have the PTA parent teacher association all right and the third purpose is to document the progress towards the standard so they have said uh, this is a progress portfolio is really uh, an alternative way for the teacher to assess okay what are the things that are uh, to be included list of applicable goals and standards representative sample work aligned with the respective goals and standards it could be the rubric or the tool the criteria used for evaluation self-reflection and how well samples indicate attainment of course grade level goals standards and objectives teachers reflection and attainment of the goals and standards and of course analysis of evidence of progress made towards standards over course of the year or semester more or less uh, these are okay the purposes the, the laid down purposes of uh, the different types of portfolio again it's up to you as the teacher on what kind of portfolio and what purpose you are going to okay to target in in asking your students to make their own portfolio now the, the very now the very common thing here in each of the purpose and then the types of portfolio we have to include really a part of uh, the self-reflection because portfolio assessment gives the way or an avenue opportunity for the students to reflect his or her learning so okay that's all for the purposes of the different types of portfolio see you in the next session and i hope you are learning